Sack Life beat depression and stay 663 and we're back in the place to be coming at you live from the sack yard with another round of martial arts for mental health lessons to wipe out depression. Thank you so much everybody for being here now. Anyone who's tuning in later appreciate you guys and girls out there. As you know we focus in on mental health tools. First one being gratitude. That gratitude tool, the more we use it the easier it becomes to find things to be positive for in life and today gratitude going out to the first one in soul traveler good to see you there soul traveler hope you're having fun uh on those vacations i see you traveling around the world looks like you're having a good time and that's what it's all about right getting out of our comfort zone exploring the world finding out what we're capable of finding out uh what new adventures and beauty lie around each corner so thank you for posting that up and being inspirational out here as well and look forward to linking up again one day, maybe when I make it back to the world's largest fort. Uh, until then, I want to shout out gratitude to everybody else tuning in at the moment. Uh, Lisa the Luminary, thank you for being there and being consistent. And also to anyone tuning in later. That's where my gratitude's going today. Um, also, let's shout some gratitude out to Nina Carita because she's putting out some really cool quality content. And today's lesson is going to be inspired by one of her recent videos with Bob. She did a push kick into a roundhouse. And I think that's what I'm going to work on that today for myself and for us. We can work on that together. And we'll also mix in our jabs and crosses, mix in that, that, um, that bread and butter, that foundation for our skill set out here. And we talked about our gratitude. Go ahead and think about the thing that you're grateful for today. That'll help put you in that positive mindset. It doesn't have to stop at one. It could be people. It can be Gratitude for being alive, being able to breathe, catching some vitamin D from the sun. It can be gratitude for anything. There's literally unlimited things we can be grateful for out here, no matter what our situation. So, think about your piece of gratitude. That'll help put you in that positive mindset. And then we're going to talk about our second uh, mental health tool, which is that progress tracking tool. Keeping track of that number and the number of days you show up for yourself and move forward only becomes more and more powerful, only becomes more and more proof of how strong you are at overcoming the debilitating effects of depression. And on bad days, look at that number, you know what you're capable of. You know what you've done, you know what you can look forward to in the future. Share that number with others to help inspire them to make progress as well. Uh, you know Mad With Hats just hit 100 days yesterday. Shout out to Mad With Hats. Lisa's getting close to a year of consecutive progress and success. And Ken's up there in the 200s. We have people all over the place, but putting out triple digits and they're normal people. They're people just like you and me, they're just like every day out here. Uh, regular people, we're displaying commitment and dedication, but it doesn't have to be a crazy, unachievable goal. We can make it a daily, accomplishable goal. And in that way, we can make that progress every single day. So, shout out to everybody sharing their number, shout out to everybody who's staying consistent, and everybody who is showing support for one another and building each other up. And there he is, Mad With Hats. Congrats on day 101, bro. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being, uh, for showing up for you and for showing up for others and sharing that progress. Appreciate you. Shout out as well to Speed of Vic. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate that support. We talked about our gratitude tool. We talked about the list tool. Let's get into the lesson. I mentioned it briefly there when I thanked Nina for posting that video. But today we're going to work on two different kicks. We're going to mix them into our fundamentals, our jab cross. Boom. I keep running late. I'm slipping, but I'm here. We're here. Hey. Mad with hats. I was late too today, right? I'm the host and I was late. We can't always be on time. Sometimes that's an unrealistic expectation. As our life situation changes, we're going to get hit with challenges every single day. We've got to adapt and sort of thrive, right? Adapt and grow. So if you didn't make it on time, it's not a big deal. These things are going to be saved on YouTube at Sack Life Daily. So you could always catch this lesson on your own schedule. If you do ever miss a class, you can take it at any time. And it's... Being here is what's important. Showing up for you is what's important. Time is relative. It's just a, <laughs> a concept. So we won't get into that uh, <laughs> deep, <laughs> super deep the theory and stuff. But 101, we got this. That's what matters. And Slayer Ken coming in here with that consistency and progress as well. Up there in the 200s, just showed up. Thank you for being here. And thank you for being part of this thing, building each other up. Let's get back into that lesson. We're going to talk about the push kick and the roundhouse kick so you'll notice today i've got on my martial arts shoes gratitude going out to century martial arts for donating the shoes they saw i needed some shoes out here they sent me a pair of shoes plus some gear and shirts to support the cause so big gratitude going out to them as well and gratitude for the bob the century europe 
for supporting us with a pop. Uh, I can't, I, honestly, I can't be grateful enough uh, to those guys out there. They're doing great stuff. They're supporting real people out here in the world, not just people, um, you know, they're not in it just for business, apparently, because they're helping us out, and we didn't give them anything in return. So <laughs> that's what it's all about. Good stuff. Um, congrats, bro, from Ken to Mad With Hats. Good stuff. Like seeing that social support. 271 days from Ken. Good stuff. Thank you for sharing that number. Helping inspire others. In fact, I saw a comment this morning that someone's number inspired somebody else, and that's good stuff. That's one of the best things we can do for each other is out, out here. Show up for ourselves and become an inspiration to others inspire and change so let's get back on track we talked about the mental health tools let's talk about the lesson today we're gonna work for Muay Thai stance it's slowly becoming just Muay Thai right <laughs> stay tuned we're gonna change it up we're gonna mix it up with other martial artists as we link up across the country um, that bus tour is gonna return on the 27th it's gonna be a modified bus tour and try and get that bus back to my hometown community as quick as possible but we're still gonna have some adventures along the way on the road and I don't know you know how long that's gonna take it or the goal is one week can I get the bus from Vegas to New Jersey in one week let's find out together but my point being we're gonna be linking with other martial artists different fields picking up some tools picking up some techniques from other martial artists that we can use at home to empower ourselves and the more you know the more you can grow the more fun you can have in that creative flow based routine with Bob or with the heavy bag so get out there and learn what you can find what works for you find what you enjoy and let's stop chatting and get into today's tools. So for today, we're gonna stick with that bread and butter out of Muay Thai stance, tossing some jabs and crosses in there, working around the bag if you've got one, <laughs> rotating through, making those combos your own. But we're also gonna work on that, uh, those two tools that Nina Karita posted. The push kick is one, and then the roundhouse kick is the other. Now we've done a lot of push kicks. We've been staying away from roundhouses because I know some of you are limited on space out there. If you are limited on space, I want you to modify and adapt to your environment. So it doesn't mean you can't do the exercise, it just means you'll have to switch it up. So for those of us who are not limited by space and you've got a nice amount of room, for the roundhouse kick, what you wanna do is square up with that visualized dummy. Shout out to Simon Amaze, thank you for that support. We're gonna square up with that visualized depression dummy. Remember, visualization is another one of our tools. Thought association, another one of our tools. So. Assign that dummy, the word depression or anxiety, whichever you want to work on, right? And then we're going to step in off our square balance base off of our railroad tracks. Remember we talk about those railroad tracks from time to time? Lines going under our feet and under our opponent's feet when we're in front of them. We're staying on those tracks. We're moving forwards and backwards. We're going to step off those tracks kind of in a diagonal pattern with the lead foot. We're going to turn that foot out and anchor on the ball of the front foot. We're gonna plant that ball of the foot, keeping the knee a little bit bent, so we're on the ball, not flat-footed. And we're gonna anchor on that foot and use that foot to pull us through as we toss this rear foot up and around, rolling the hip over and chopping right through our opponent. So for a nice body level, right? We're going in into the body, body level roundhouse kick. From our squared stance, we're gonna step off that line, anchoring on the ball of the front foot. We're gonna shift our body weight forwards, keep that core contracted, right? You can help yourself by reaching across the front of the face. This arm is gonna act as a counter lever here, a counterbalance, and we're gonna toss that foot through, rotating on the ball of that front foot. So we plant that foot in front of us, stepping off the line, anchor it, angle it out. We're planted, and we're gonna use that foot to pull this rear foot over, turn in the hip, and rotate it on the ball of that front foot. If it's not smooth, if you don't have that rotation and balance yet, don't worry, over time, it's gonna get easier and easier to do, but that's where the practice comes in, and that's where your bonus rounds will come in. Because we only have X amount of time together on this show every day, this doesn't mean this is all you have to do for the day. This is just our daily accomplishable goal. So once we get this done, we can reward ourselves for that progress and success. But if you got more in the tank and you'd like to make more progress in your life, do so. Give yourself a bonus round. Keep on practice. Keep on sharpening those skills. Shout out to Kristen Lee. Thanks for being here as well. So we're going to look at that roundhouse kick one more time. If you've got the space to do it, we step off that line, anchor in that front foot on the ball. We toss that rear foot up, chopping through, rotating on the ball of that front foot, bringing it all the way back around to your defensive position. Now, a couple different mechanics here 
happen here when we step in all our power comes from the hips all our power comes through the bottom through our base through the hips and then we're just rotating those hips so we want to pop back on those two lines step off the front line and we're going to lift this leg while rotating the hips so you can practice here just turning that body turning those hips over rolling those hips over and turning that foot because that hip roll is very important to get the angle that we want and the leverage that we need so back on square step off that front line and lift the leg right we're shifting our weight onto that front foot pulling our weight through with that front foot we're gonna lift the leg and turn turn those hips to get the angle see what happens to my leg my shin when I've got the shin up straight and then I rotate the hips boom it changes that angle it lets us come in with that solid shin and do some serious damage to our opponents chopping through our opponents another thing you want to think about is you don't want the leg fully extended before you make contact you want the leg still to have a little bit of room as you're extending our goal is to chop through that depression dummy chop them in half split them right in half there so kick into the body if you've got a, a bob dummy at home go for those ribs go for a little lower than those ribs you can square up with them just like you would square up with that depression dummy step off the line we're going to pull and pivot on that front foot and drive through the hip and back to stance and back to stance and back to stance and back to stance square up and back to stance now over time there are a million small things small points of improvement that you can make tucking the chin improving the balance keeping the guard high on the opposite hand chopping the arm at the right point of impact to transfer that force into your depression dummy but for now i just want to get to get that hip rotation going right twist those hips get used to chopping that arm as the leg goes and rolling that hip over so you can get the right angle so let's set it back up again for shadow boxing. Square up with that depression dummy. Get him right in front of you. You're going to step off that line on a V. Drive through the hip nice and easy. You can go for a low roundhouse here. Don't worry about the height yet, about getting it up to the ribs. We can start with low roundhouses to the legs. I'm going to be practicing rib level roundhouses out here. Voice around, boom, boom, boom. We'll switch into southpaw stance. Same thing, off the line. Anchor, whoosh, and back. Rolling that hip is really gonna turn that foot over and get that correct part, the shin, that hard part of our shin to make contact with our opponent. So that's the roundhouse. That's kind of a basic, loo basic loose breakdown of the roundhouse. If you don't have room to spin around completely, I want you to modify and adapt to your environment so you can keep making that progress. So for that, if you don't have the room, go slower, step forwards, practice shifting that weight, Bring the leg up and turn the hip over. Boom. Turn the hip over and just go right back. So nice and slow. Maybe right out of our jab cross. Boom, boom. Jab cross. Step off the line. Hip over. Very slow. Making sure you keep it nice and controlled. Whoosh. Boom. And back. Turn into it. If you have more room than that, you can step off the line and bring that foot. Boom. Back there back to your stance. If you don't have the room, don't worry about it. If you don't have room to extend your leg, simply bring the knee up and turn the knee over. So you can step off that line, knee comes up and over, boom. Just start working on getting that hip to rotate and you can start getting that, that uh, shot set up when you do get access to a heavy back. So that's all we're gonna talk about for the roundhouse till we get into the lesson. And then the other kick that we wanna use, uh, inspired by Nina's combo is the teep kick and we're gonna use a front teep kick here we'll use practice with bob so for the teep what we want to do that's our lead push kick is bring the rear foot forwards right so from our squared stance we're going to bring the rear foot forwards for a lead teep we're going to bring that lead leg up almost on a single plane bringing it up and into the hips and then we're going to drive through the hips and push with the ball of the foot straight forwards letting our shoulders go back as our hips go forwards you can put some hip rotation in there as well. It's a one-legged push kick. It's very powerful. It's very effective. It's very good at creating distance between you and, and your opponent, knocking them off their balance, resetting their, their mind, making them, tossing them out of adjustment. So that's the lead teep. We bring the rear foot up. We bring the front foot in, into the hips. We chop the arm on the same side that the hip is going forwards, right? Boom. And we drive through those hips 
pushing that rotational force into that opponent. We, meanwhile, we're anchored on that back foot. And the goal with the teep is to toss them, bring the foot back, and return to your stance. Claire and Luca would call that a haya. Heck yeah, all those shots are haya to those guys. Little inspirations out there themselves. Shout out to Luca and Claire if they catch this later on on their own schedule. So that being said, we got our teep kick, right? We step in, drive through the hip, boom, back to stance. You can turn it into a rear teep kick if you want to do that. You don't need to do the step in. We're just going to swing that rear foot up, right? Pull that rear foot up, drive through, boom, drive through the hip. Look at what the hands are doing. So with the lead teep, the hand on that lead side, whoosh, is going forwards, whoosh, there it is, bang and back with the rear teeth, that rear foot, rear hand is going forwards, chopping as the hip moves forwards in that opposite direction. That helps maintain that balance, improve that balance in the form. So today we're gonna to practice those things. Teeps, roundhouses, we'll toss jabs and cross in there as well. And we'll work on developing that combo that Nina Carita was showing, which is that lead teep, and then right in, boom, to a roundhouse kick. Lead T, push Bob out of there, boom, roundhouse kick, nice combo. Drive through the hip, land on the shin, exhale, whoosh, do it from southpaw, from orthodox, wherever you're going to have the most fun. And we'll do it together in shadow boxing form, just giving you sometimes a little illustration on that Bob. If you do have a Bob, you get a better somatic release with Bob or a bag. But if you don't have any of those things, all you need to do is show up for you and fight forwards. And you can make progress and get a release with shadow boxing alone. Just know you do have options. On top of that, we'll have the fighting spirit of the 80s coming out of the boombox. Plus, make sure that you're drinking water. We're going to get into this thing. It'll be a high intensity round. It is a Thursday. So there'll be our standard rounds. Three rounds, three minutes each. One minute break in between to catch your breath and drink some water. Make sure you've got enough. And we're doing this thing. Woo! Sack Live Daily. Oh, remember, if you miss it, catch the replay on YouTube at Sack Life Daily on your own schedule, whatever you'd like. Wesley Oliver, thank you for being here. And Todd Hunter Fitness, appreciate your support as well. Make sure you got water. We're going to get those tunes going right now. Bam, bam, bam. Boom, oh, there it is. Daily beat for today. Square up with that depression dummy. Pop into your Muay Thai stance. And let's start with the basic jab and cross, and then we'll start working on those kicks, working those kicks in there. Here we go. Square up. Visualize that opponent. Get that guard high by the brow line. Close the fingers. Tuck the thumbs. Right? And roll those fists to carry your pace, carry your flow, carry your rhythm. Square hip, square shoulder with that opponent. We're going to step in and twist. Boom. For the jab. And rotate back. Jab, cross. And back. Driving those fists down the center line. Pop. Pop. Twisting through the shoulders and hips. And turning on the ball of each foot. Ball of front foot for the front jab. Ball of rear foot for the rear cross. And back to stance. Square up. Keep it moving. Work that horizontal movement as well. Don't let the feet come together. Keep it nice and squared and balanced. Chin tucked to improve that balance. Get close. Double shots. Back to stance. Square it up. Roll those shoulders for added defense. Tuck the chin. Let's go. Double shots. Back to stance. One, two. Hit it. Hit that dummy in the face. Visualize that depression dummy. Turn those fists over and land in those large two knuckles. Target the nose bomb or the chin. And do some damage. Let's go. Knock those lies out of his face. Keep it going. One, two. I move in. Step in, twist for the one, twist for the two, back to stance. Remember, roll those fists over. If you've got the bob, aim for those shins. Make use of those accuracy improvement tools. Twist through on the ball of foot. Woof, woof. Exhale hard on those strikes. Woof, woof. And back to stance, square up. And back. Move in and out, closer and further from your opponent. One, two, turn those fists over, head on the center line. Pop, pop. Back to stance, and we're going to start adding in the roundhouse kick now. From our square balance stance, we're on those railroad tracks. Step off with the front foot, toss that hip over, ro rotate that hip, boom, and chop the arm. Bring the foot around, back to stance. Get him with the one, two, pop, pop, square up. Step off the line, anchoring on the ball of the foot, toss the hip over, 
and rotate around on the ball of that foot back to stance. If you don't have the room, let's go. Hit him with the one, two, pop, pop. Back to stance. If you don't have the room for the full roundhouse, step off the line, flat foot. Go nice and slow and just chop that arm forwards. Just start working on rotating that hip over. Boom. And bringing it back to square. Nice and slow. I'm going too fast. Whoops, there it is. Boom. It'll get easier the slower you go here. Maintain that balance. Step off the line. Think about where you're putting that weight. Goes onto the front foot. Chop through. Bring it back. Off the line. Nice and slow and controlled. Roundhouse kick there. Keep the guard high. Whoops. On the opposite side. Tuck that chin. And if you've got the room, full roundhouse. Boom. Back to stance. Square up. One, two. Back to stance. Roundhouse kick. And we're back in. Catch your breath, drink some water. Shout out to Skip Nation for the support as well. Appreciate you out there. Appreciate you for tuning in. We've got 52 seconds. We're going to get into the next section where we'll start talking about that lead teep again. Bring that lead teep back in. And then hopefully by the end, we'll be able to work the lead teep and the roundhouse kick together. Now, if you got the bag, you're going to be able to practice proper pressure testable form and technique. If you don't, you can still get that form and technique down with shadow boxing. Hmm. You'll just need the room to carry it around. So for the lead teep, when we're squared up in our stance, we're gonna bring that rear foot forwards, bring that front foot in and drive through those hips, right? Chopping the arm at the same time, guard high on the opposite hand. Square up, we've got 10 seconds and we're gonna start with that jab cross again. Just keep it nice and fluid, work that jab cross. Three, two, one, let's go, step in. One, two, exhale on those strikes. One, two, roll those shoulders, tuck that chin. Square up with them, sink on the knees. Keep the weight on the balls of the feet. And back to stand, square up, tuck that chin. Open up those hips to def make defense for kicks easier. Narrower hips, more angles for more power in the punches. Your choice in your stance. So many variations we can use. Sink in, move forwards, move further away. Measure, measure, measure. Jab, cross, let's go. Jab, cross. Square up, jab, cross. Turn those fists over and land in the face of that depression dummy. Fight for you. Let's go. Let's knock them over with a teep kick. Bring that rear foot forwards. Front foot lifts up on one plane. We're pulling it into the into the hips, and then extend those hips forwards, pushing with the ball of the foot. Curl those toes back if you're barefoot. Curl those toes back and put that pressure on the ball of your foot to toss that opponent with the teeth kick. Here we are, step in for the one, two, five, five. Back to stance, we're gonna open up some room here. Lead teeth, rear foot comes forward. Hips go in as I bring this foot up on one plane. And then I chop through the arm as I drive forwards through the hips. Shoulders going back, hips going forwards, generating rotational force. Curl those toes and push with the pad of the foot. Back to stance and get close for the one, two. Let's go. One, two to Bob's face, to that dummy's face. Step in for the teeth. Boom, oh, and knock them off. Don't knock your Bob over. Step in for the teeth, but you can see how much power you can generate even when on one leg when using the proper form. Step in for that T, rear foot comes forwards. Drive through the hips, I'm going slow for Bob's sake out here. Drive through the hips and chop the arm on the same side. Back to stance. And let's add in that roundhouse. Off the line, pivot, and drive through the hip. Back to stance. Step in for the one, two, pop, pop. Back out and create some more space when that depression dummy comes in. Let's knock him back with a T kick. Rear foot comes forward. Bring that foot up on one plane, right? Into the hip. And then we're gonna extend, boom. Extend through, pushing through the hip. Letting the shoulders go back and knocking that opponent away. Step in for the one, two. Back to stance. Open up some room with a lead deep. Boom, boom. I gotta protect my body. If you got that depression dummy, you're working with visualization. Step in, deliver two to the chin, boom, boom. And then work that center teep. Rear foot comes forward, into the hips. Exhale, hard and drive through the ball of that foot. Let those shoulders move back as those hips move forward. Jab, cross, rear teep, ooh, boom. 
leads you back to stance. That's the end of round two. Catch your breath, drink some water. Shout out to Craig Williams, kickboxer, and Hello Nurse for being here. Appreciate you guys. Shout out to Skip Nation as well. Don't want to miss anybody. Appreciate that support. Woo, we got 48 seconds. We're getting into that final round where we'll mix the roundhouse kick and the teeth kick together to try and execute that combo that Nina had up on her page. While I try not to knock my Bob over. I filled this Bob with water. So he's about 250 pounds. But you can also fill him with sand if you're not gonna move him that often. But it gives you an idea too of how powerful that teeth kick is. Bob's got a 250 pound base and with one on one leg, we can knock him over when we use that proper form. So now, we're gonna get back into it. We're gonna use that teeth and kind of rotate right into the roundhouse kick. See if we can link those two together, make it a nice transition. So we teeth them, that opponent's move been pushed back. Now they're coming back at us. We're gonna step right in and turn that hip over for a roundhouse kick. Back into form, visualize that dummy. Step in for the one, two to the face. Square up, and now we're gonna lead teeth. Step in for the lead teeth. Boom, we're pushing them back with the lead teeth. Now when this foot comes back, instead of squaring up, we're gonna step off the line on that anchor point and drive through, boom, drive through and chop for that roundhouse kick to the body. So if, if you're working with your visualized depression dummy, step in for the one, two, pop, pop, back to stance, lead teeth, boom, center mass, back to stance, and rotate right over, pivoting on the ball, that front foot, Whoops! for the roundhouse kick, back to stance. Here we go. Remember, if you don't have the room to move all the way around in a circle, keep it slow and controlled. Jab cross, start with jab cross, bah, bah. back to stance, lead teep, whoosh, drive through those hips, back, and when that foot goes down, plant it on the outside of those lines. We're gonna pivot, bring that other foot, that rear foot around for a rear roundhouse kick to the body. And if you don't have the flexibility yet, do all these kicks low. Aim low, aim fight dirty, go for the kneecaps. Step in for the one, two, back to stance, square up, teep that knee, whoosh, drive through the hip like it's a gas pedal. Step off the line, rotate through for a low roundhouse on the ball, that front foot. Square up, one, two, back in, lead teep, bring that rear foot forwards, Hip comes in, chop the arm at the same time, whoosh, like it's a gas pedal. Back to stance, and off the line. Pivot through for the roundhouse kick on the ball of that foot. Square up, let's do it again. One, two to the face. Back to stance, lead teep, whoosh. As that foot comes down, we're placing it off the line, torquing through, bam, for that roundhouse kick to the body. Square up, if you got the room, rotate fully around. If you don't, take it nice and slow. One, two, back to stance, lead T, push. Step off the line when that foot comes back. Anchor it on the ball of the foot. Chop the hip, chop the arm at the same time that the hip rolls over. Extending that leg right through your target. Roll that hip. Let's do it to Bob. Step in for the one, two, boom, boom. Lead T, push. Step off the line, boom. Drive through the hip for that round pass kick to the body. One, two, to the chin. Step for the lead T, bang, bang. Rotate right in to that roundhouse kick. Chopping the arm with the leg. Go right through your opponent. One, two, back up, lead T. As the foot comes back down, off the line. Torque through and drive that roundhouse kick to Bob's body. Good stuff, that's the end of round three for today. I hope that you pushed to your level and found room to grow. Remember, it is about showing up for the process every single day and putting in that consistency and dedication every day possible so that you can make that progress every day. And when you make progress your goal, there's no limit to how much progress you can make out there. Then there's no reason to stop making progress, right? Why would you ever want to stop improving your life? <laughs> it just continues to get better. And the cool thing about martial arts is we can sharpen these skills for a lifetime. Never learn everything. Always have more room to grow, but continue to improve on that skill set and get better every day. So I hope that's what you're doing. Shout out to H2O Mosley and D Garon for the support. Appreciate you guys and girls out there. And 
Until next time, I'll catch you guys same sack time, same sack channel, same sack life. Sack man out. Whew. Whew.